Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Baltasar Gelt in S4 Grim Hammer 3. And last episode we introduced a can ball to Scrag's big fat face. So now they only have this camp left. So we're just gonna go and deal with this next turn. And that should be it for the Disciples of the Maw. So once we're done with them, we're probably gonna have to go and deal with the vampires. Because we can't leave them be for too long. Because they're just gonna run rampant all over the Empire. And that's not gonna end well for anyone. So we're probably gonna have to deal with that. And... If we're gonna fight vampires, we're not gonna need this many spears, because uh, I think swordmen are probably better against the vampires than spearmen are. So we're just gonna start murdering some of these, especially since next turn we can just get, get an Eldred's Guard and they're gonna be a lot better. Although, I think they do have a little bit less anti-large. Yeah, 15 versus uh, 20. Yeah, but either way. They just, in general, have uh, a lot better stats and some nice abilities, like bolstered armor, which uh, is gonna buff everyone around them. So it's gonna be really nice to have at least one of them. But oh, what happened there? Uh, but we are gonna go and build a barracks here. But I think we're gonna do it in Steingard because it is uh, it is capped at tier three, so I rather have it in Steingard. So we could build a stables. And we could have some Empire Knights, and I guess that wouldn't be bad. We have plenty of money, so uh, we're not really ha having to rush the uh, wine market. Why do I have a negative 10? Huh. Oh, is it because of control? Yeah, it is. Okay, that makes sense. But we are gonna upgrade that. So, like I said, we might just get some Empire Knights. I'm not sure. I do really like the Outriders with grenade launchers. But I'm wondering if we're just gonna have a bunch of war wagons instead of cab. Because then we're just gonna... Because what I'm thinking is our army is probably gonna be a lot of artillery. A bunch of front line to protect our artillery. A couple of guns, but we get them here. And some war wagons to just ride around and shoot at shit. So... We might just... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's get a couple of Empire Knights. We can just give them to our second army because we're gonna we're doing great on money. So we might just get that. Get to tier three and get the artillery building. And we'll get the money buildings later. So this is fine for now. And we can always get rid of the stables if we feel like we don't need any more cab from it. So yeah, this is good. We're gonna pass the turn, go and kill those guys, and then start moving home. Time is good. Hello. Yeah, we should be friends, especially since I basically dealt with the Disciples of the Maw for you. Although, I don't want to pay a bunch for a trade agreement. We can have plenty of trade in the Empire, and we should probably look into that. Okay, so how about counteroffer? Just trade. Um, yeah, no. Okay, how about just a... Really? Not a non-aggression pact. Well, this is still gonna grow, so this is fine. I guess we're just gonna let this grow a little bit, and uh, we'll talk to you in a couple of turns. Sounds good? Good. And it's about them. Oh! Issued, hey, Lord. a quest! A great adventure Stop beckons. talking! Shut up! So, it is... Oh! Okay. Uh, <laughs> Essen wants a... Um, a settlement back from Ostermark. No, wait. <laughs> uh, Ostermark want Essen back from Talabekland. That's what happens. Not what I said. Um, yeah, just... Uh, let's give it back. It'll give me Imperial Authority. And let's see what this quest is. Okay, it's the cloak. Right. And the cloak is... Kind of okay. I would say it's it's okay. It's not the his best stuff, but it's fine. We're definitely gonna do it either way. So, yeah. And it's about time Belagar got here, because these guys have been living for way too long. So... Oh, you... You should like us way more than this. How about we join your war against the Broken Nose? Nah, that's... That barely does anything. Okay. We're just gonna leave you be for now. And we might just go and grab the ambassador to... Karas Ankor, because we got a lot of money, and uh, seems like the dwarves doesn't like us as much as I would like them to. So we might just grab this. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. 
So, let's uh, grab some spares before we leave. Because I want that cooldown ticking down right away. And what happened to the camp? It can't move. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Because uh, that's one of the most annoying things about the ogres is their camps can't move. But yeah, they're not dead. So can we just not see there for some reason? Pick up the pace. Okay, that is exactly what, what it is. So just, uh, just go and kill that then. And we'll just auto resolve that. Finally an ogre fight, we can auto resolve. And we'll just grab the money. It's fine. There we go. Now the Disciples of the Maw is dead. We got a banner, which is... That's a, that's pretty good, especially against vampire accounts, because... Uh, we'll get through some, uh, some of that healing. And I think some of their stuff is weak to fire. So, you you've changed your mind? No. But we should have right. some... Ooh, Marienburg? Yeah, you Trading want all kinds of stuff. Well, you want trade. You which, uh, I'm good with that. So, just balance that a little bit. Get a little bit of extra money. Don't yes. mind if I do. And any more trade? Oh, yeah. So, we can get some trade from... Oh, and a non aggression pact. Heck yeah! And, ooh, Middleland won't trade. Military access. This Empire. is fine. We get a lot of money just doing this. Oh, no, no, no. Come then. Only and that's fine. Say so. So. Yeah, so that kind of bankrolled half of uh, what we need for the dwarf stuff. So I think we're just going to go for it. That was lots of money. And, right, we can't march. But we can, uh, we can charge up our batteries a little bit. And uh, nothing to build, but two turns. We can start building a barracks, which will take one turn. And then we can at least get some swords. Although I would like to upgrade it one more time for maybe halberds. So, we'll see. Let's... Could spend some prestige. Because I think... There is that uh, event where you pay a thousand for a... For a Imperial Authority. Otherwise, I don't think we need this much. But we also don't really need any of these things right now. So I think we're just going to sit on it and uh, use them when we need them, basically. The yeah. Oh, hello, what's the mark? You want military offer and you'll pay for it. Sure, but how about you pay a little bit more? <laughs> 50 extra gold. Yes. And I did... Oh, they killed the broken nose. Excellent. So... No, that's not what I'm meant to do. We never did get the dwarf thing, and I think we're gonna do it. We're almost at 40,000. Let's just get the the dwarf... Uh, Very well. I will do this. The dwarf happiness, and... This is... This isn't the fort, is it? Where... No, where, no that is the, the border. Do we get inside? No. We're still... We're just just outside <laughs> oh that is annoying okay well charge up the batteries and i guess i guess buff this up because uh, we might be attacked by the bloody hands and uh, in that case we want the, we want fort soul to be as defensive as possible because they might just beeline it through and that could be a problem Do not waste my but this is done at least and uh, yeah this is done next turn good And Sterling wants military access. I, I want that because we might need to run around in your, in your borders. So yes, please. And there's so many regions that's <laughs> being demanded. So Midden's Midden's tag needs to be returned to Middleland or just allow Austin to take it. No, no, no. Give it that back to Middleland because I'm gonna want to confederate them eventually. And now all the dwarves are gonna like us a little bit better. So doing that. No, but Telbeckland wants stuff. I will listen, but my so be it. happy to get that. I basically yes. just want good relations with everyone. Oh, and now the border princess likes us. And they want trade. Excellent. So be it. 
Wisdom and uh, we're still not gonna do anything about. Damn, they're strong. They're really strong. Huh? Good for them. Sick, all right. And Marion, Marionburg wants hey, a defensive Kobo alliance. Of the Empire this day. Actually, you're only at war with the Barrel Legion, and you're gonna. Norske is gonna be all over you, so I think we're just gonna grab the military access for right. now. Get that. Get that uh, opinion yes. high. And good. So, what are we making from trade? Only 483, but we also don't really have any trade goods, so that's not bad. That's basically just tariffs, right? I think something here creates a little bit... Was it this? I think something... Oh yeah, we get a little bit of spice from uh, our port. And we get a, a little bit of marble over here. So we barely have any trade resources, but we do have a little bit. So fastest way over there is through Averheim and over the moot, which is fine. So let's go and sit in Fieldor for now. Just get some replenishment and actually get some of that. Merge some of those. And oh, Empire Knights take t takes two turns. I don't know how good Outriders are going to be against the Vampire Counts because they they have a lot of Hounds, which Outriders are basically countered by. And uh, I don't know what to shoot with them. I, I'd much rather have Pistoliers, honestly. Might just get rid of them and uh, well, we can get them back with later, but in that case I'd rather just get the Grenade Launchers. So I think we're going to get rid of Outriders. Yeah. I don't think we need them. We are going to get rid of... Uh, like... One or two of these? Okay, actually, start by getting rid of that one. And let's get four knights. We're going to just hold on to those for now. And... Uh, we're probably gonna switch the spears and a free militia or, or two for swordmen. Once we get those, that is. And turn that back on. And I think that's good. Because knights are gonna be good to have against the vampire counts. Just deal with hounds and stuff like that. Although, they're, I think their knights win against ours, but... Still, it's gonna be good. Oh, Wurzerg is attacking, is he? Yeah, I thought it was gonna happen, but I wasn't sure when it was gonna happen. And top knots too. Okay. That's uh, okay, that's why we have, have Forge Soul, so. At least they're a ways away, so they kind of. They are fighting. No, they're usually fighting the Border Princess, but yeah. Oh, took a while for this to pop up, but... Um, I don't think I care about the fealty of Wizardland. And I don't really care if it goes down to zero, because we are going to fight them eventually. We might fight them now. Maybe. No. No, that's that seems weird. So, get the knights, and uh, if we stay here one extra turn, could get some halberds, which are definitely better than pikemen. So, we might get that. Hmm. Something something to, to think about, and you level for some reason, and we're just gonna get, <laughs> get armor for the fun of it. Actually, let's get the little blade, you have plenty of armor. Oh, hello. So, Skaven attacks Altdorf. Well, that's very brave. Um, we got plenty of prestige. Actually, we have plenty of money. So, I think we might just send a military force. Send scout, but no, no, no. Let's, uh, let's send a military force. I think that's good. And yeah, I thought so, but... Extra fealty is good. And hey, it pays for itself. Beautiful. 
So. Oh, I'm really tempted to just attack them, but... The... Uh, the vampires have been pushing into Sterling now, so I think we're gonna have to deal with that first. So, let's get rid of those. Because, uh... Wait. Alright. Oh, we have to stay here one extra turn. But, yeah. I think we're getting rid of one of these as well. Just to have a little bit chunkier front line. Yes. And then we're gonna get three helpers, we're gonna do the quest, and then we are going after the vampires. Let us begin. And we don't need to move yet. The time of the Hello. No. Okay, the let's move over there, because this is, yeah, that's a border. Yes, that so, is. let's recruit a couple of halberds, right? Let's get two halberds and a sword, I think. Because the halberds are very tanky. But the sword, they do have anti-infantry, but they also have less damage. And the armor piercing is very nice. So I think we're going like that. And when we get to, to rank 10, we're probably going to dump a f another free company militia for Sons of Sigmar. Because now we have options against their knights and monsters with these three. And we have a little bit of anti-infantry and free company militia. So, finish building that. And okay, that's not where we can build. I don't think we're going to invest anything here because the bloody hands are just going to come and rip it down. And we can get to tier 3 in two turns. Excellent. Wait, what? Uh, Blessed Pterodon? <laughs> what? What the hell was that? Oh, hello, dwarf friends. What do you want? Military access for a bunch of money. Yeah, sure. I'll take your money. So, why did we get a... Uh, <laughs> a uh, Pterodon Rider thing? And Wizardland... Wants... Wants uh, independence. Okay, um, I guess this decision is made for us then. We're gonna stop them by force. Excellent. So now we don't lose a bunch of authority by declaring war on them. Impossible. So I guess the vampires are gonna have to wait even though they've taken a chunk out of Sterland. I really My hope you're fighting... Uh... Oh, well, blade. you are fighting Karakadri, which is great. Fighting Averland, Zufbar, Talabekland, and Sterland, so at least they're not getting everything for free. But to be fair, they're probably way stronger than everyone they're fighting, except maybe Karakadri. So I'm gonna just trust them to hold the fort for now, while we go and take uh, Wizenland. But we're first gonna do a quest battle. Because uh, actually we can go and grab this. But we're gonna do a quest battle first, so Imperial Adjutants. We're gonna grab some of these before we do the quest battle as well, because, uh, well, we have a lot of, a lot of prestige. So we might as well spend some. And I do want Auxiliary Focusing Luminarch, because, I mean, I'm gonna want that eventually. And some spell resistance, with some magic cost reduction, and targeting range is fine, but the other two is just excellent. And cheaper spells is better spells. So. We're also gonna want a um, mutagen of might, I think, because uh, well, these two are the good ones according to me, at least for our fighty guy. I don't think the mutagen of haste is that good. I mean, maybe if they're maybe for witch hunters, because the reload skill is nice and speed will help the, help them skirmish a little bit. But don't care too much about deceleration and acceleration. Strider is fine, but yeah. We're just gonna go for mut Mutagen of Might, because it's more damage, and uh, Personal Strength is pretty nice, because it's a good buff for 60 seconds. And I feel like I over-explained that <laughs> a lot, but whatever. So, we gotta remember to actually equip them as well. So let's get... I mean, I do very much like the magic item drop chance. 
I think Coachman is probably the weakest one, right? Because Campaign Movement Rage is sweet. And, I mean, Line of Sight is fine, but I think we're getting rid of the Coachman and putting in Auxiliary, auxiliary Focusing Luminar, which is always... Uh, my cats are going nuts. They're just always good. Uh, we do have a student here, so... Oh, you basically have nothing. So let's give you the Mutagen. We'll give you a Camp Follower, a... Well, I guess you can have the coachman and the student. Excellent. And we don't have any... No, no magical items. That's fine. So, let's just uh, hop into this, uh, this quest battle. And we'll get a bunch of casualty replenishment, so we're probably just going to go and sit in field door for a turn after this if we're badly hurt. So, let's do it. Okay, the Black Knights can be pretty scary. The Ken Rays are pretty scary. The rest are just fodder, so this is fine. With me, followers, we will descend into Drake to follow this cave of ill aspect, for within lies an artifact of great power. My arcane talents tell me this place is not unprotected. An ancient, once dead guardian lies in wait. We must destroy it before we can collect the cave's secrets. You will do this for me. This is a dread task, but my rewards will be great, for I can spin gold from lead. And as the Supreme Patriarch, is there a more powerful ally you can have? Begin your advance. Banish the guardians of this place. And think of the rewards you will have once the cloak of molten metal is mine. I just love the line, this is a this is a dread task, but my rewards will be great. It's just very in line with uh, like many of you will die, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. So, where's our cannon? Oh! They put it in the woods. Perfect place for a cannon. But at least this isn't one of those battles that starts, uh, well, starts started, basically. So we're just going to have time to set up at least. So let's just put the cannons up on this uh, little ridge. That should be fine. We should be able to shoot uh, either the cav or their lord, either way. Because if they move their cav away, we will just shoot the lord instead. And we'll put the mortar right next to it. Because they'll, they'll be able to shoot wherever anyway. Uh, put some crossbow right in front. They can shoot over, which is fine. And we'll pop you in the middle. Some great swords to the side of it. Some normal swords to the other side. And I think the halberds are just gonna hang out really close back here. Close to the mortar and cannon, because we can't have stuff landing in here and... Uh, I'm expecting reinforcements, so we're gonna just protect. And they have a bunch of calves, so we don't wanna have them just ride around us and hit our artillery. And you guys are probably just gonna go and skirmish. So you can be group one. You're gonna have two groups of cav. You're gonna go around the sweep, and you can be group one too. Oh, and you should probably be up there. There we go. So, cannon. Okay, the cab are moving to the side, so let's just let's just shoot the. Actually, are you on a corpse cart? No. Okay. Boo. He's on stupid foot. So let's just move these guys up. And uh, don't have any grave guards, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. So they're in. Oh, good cannon shot. Very nice. So since they got invocationed, we're just gonna switch target to these guys. And can we get a, another hit? Come on, cannons! Oof, so close. Oh, actually, that was a hit. Sometimes I don't understand what's a hit and not. It just, uh, just doesn't seem right. Oh, actually, their cab is still close by. Actually, let's move back a little bit. Because they are gonna... They're gonna start moving soon thanks to our bombardment. So let's switch to those spearmen. They're still not moving at least. And these guys are gonna get a couple of pot shots. So that's nice. Okay. One more hit. 
Can we get some more cannon shots? Oh, close. Oh, close. Oh, so close. Okay, yeah, they're, now they're moving out. And I don't want to be here when... Uh, when the cav hits us. So, let's just do like so, so we're not crowding. Yeah, okay. The cav is going on the sides, though, so that's fine. We're just gonna ride you back a little bit. Oh, these guys are going in the middle, though, so that's good. That means we can go and deal with hounds on this side. But we are... We have three units of uh, of black knights over there, so... Oh, actually... Oh! Get in on those guys! Sneaky... Sneaky-ass black knights just waltz in there. Oh, crap. Don't do that. Okay, pin these guys down right away. Um, right into these hounds. Right into those hounds. Should do some decent damage. Send these guys over. That's fine, just uh, disengage. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, first of all, let's send these guys in here. And this is beautiful Gehenna's. Fight in there, you're doing fine. Get in there. And disengage. But yeah, this is oh, so much damage with these. I wish I could stay and watch it, but... Oh, it's going into our own stuff. <laughs> well, that's the risk you take with... Uh, with Vortex spells, but this is fine. That's gonna be a very good one. That's gonna be a good one. Let's... Ride you around. You're gonna hit there, and you're gonna hit there. You're fighting direwolves, that's fine. You're fighting zombies. Let's withdraw you and uh, just cycle charge you. These are just about to die. Very nice. The Eldred's guards took a lot of damage, but we're fine. We got our characters there dealing with this. We can get another hounds. This, once again, this might be... Oh! There is uh, reinforcements. Oh, I did not notice reinforcements. Um, pull these back and pull these back, protect. And so far, the Hound seems to be concentrated in uh, can rates. So that is excellent. And now they're kind of going into Swordsman, but that's... They're fine. They're fine, don't worry about it. Uh, send you up again. Let's withdraw you. You're doing fine. You're doing... Oof. You're actually doing... Oh, did you get breathed on? I think they did a big breath attack over there. So, let's ride you around, send you in there. Oh, the, these guys are breaking. That is okay, though. These are holding well. They're fighting zombies. Uh, <laughs> okay, right away. Get in there. Pull back and then attack into there. Got another hounds, but I don't think we have any good ones for that. Let's grab you and shoot back. Oh, oh dear. That's that's not good. Okay. I feel like I'm <laughs> really mishandling this um, micro, but we are fine, I think. Damn, these fellbats are... Resilient. We even have great swords on them, but they're just chilling. That's kind of scary. Yeah. Those should start crumbling real quick. We can send you back in. And uh, yeah, I guess. No, wait. Stay there. Keep fighting there. And I guess get a bombard there. That should finish those off. You're working hard, and yeah, that's that finished them off. Very nice. So all of you, you're all you're all done with these. So turn around, shoot this idiot who won't land for some reason, but he will. Well, he should be crumbling. He doesn't seem to be crumbling, but whatever. We're just gonna fast forward this because he is dead. There we go. So I can't say I. 
fought this perfectly, but eh, good enough. We got our stuff, and we got to kill some undead. And why isn't this ending? This is, uh, is worrying me. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We're actually took way less damage than I thought we did, but I could definitely have handled that better. But that's alright. We get a bunch of money. And I forgot to equip the Banner of the Eternal Flame. Whoops. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, we're just gonna put it on you because you're always gonna be in the middle. And this does buff, buff allies in range. Actually, we should probably put it on you. You're always gonna be on the front line. So, and uh, this buff on you is gonna be great. So let's grab the money. And uh, we could go after Wissenberg uh, right away, but they have... Ooh, they have a full-on garrison over there. What we could do... Let's try to get a ambush. Because I'm guessing they're gonna want to attack Fjeldor. But, I mean, I didn't expect there to be any good ambushes over here, but... Can at least try and stand over there see if they actually let us no no yes let's move back a little bit like so because we're still gonna get some uh, replenishment but uh, this is too much to to fight they have they have garrison everywhere that's uh, that's rough uh, we're gonna grab that and I guess we're gonna get grab glittering rope because that's gonna be really cheap for us With our new fancy item We're gonna grab foe seeker Okay, I'm still not gonna build anything there, so let's see what you do Time is gold. Hello Reckland I mean we are gonna want to get start getting some uh, treaties with you, and I think this is actually we can probably lower that a little bit. There we go, a little bit of a discount. Okay, so they did not take the bait. No, ready. But how are we feeling? I can't really just ignore them and go to Dottenbach. Because then they'll attack Fjeldor. Oh, and we should definitely upgrade that, though. But we could attack this guy. Impossible. That'll force all of these out. I am ready. So let's try that. Let's see how this works out. Valiant defeat. Yep. But I think we can take this. Especially since we're gonna outrange their artillery very handily. So let's fight this. Oh, this isn't this isn't that isn't a perfect map for us. Although we can set up over here, we got a nice line of sight into the oncoming army. So I think we'll just do that. And yeah, they're they're plenty in range. We might have to move up a little bit, but nothing major. So we're just gonna put up a big front line, a line of you, and a line of you, a line of you. <laughs> a line of you. And I'm gonna welcome blob fights. Because that is gonna be perfect for Balthasar, especially with how cheap our spells is now. Searing Doom is four and Gold Hounds of Gana is two. That is insane. Love it. Gotta love Balthasar Geld sometimes. So I guess you guys can come go up and just take some shots at you. Put up the line. Let's pull you up a little bit because the free company is gonna. They are gonna go and do their thing and then they're gonna go behind the line and help out. So let's just go and shoot this guy. Give him some good shots right away. And please spread out so you're not on top of each other. And he's just gonna take it. <laughs> okay, well. I'm not against it. 
So that's a free kill on the Lord. Beautiful. And these guys are on their way. So swordsmen are not exactly our worry. Halberds a little bit more. The cannons start shooting him and... Uh... Oh, right. They're probably shooting these guys. Because uh, even if you miss this guy, which uh, he's on a horse, so he's going to take a bunch of damage from each hit. But you're, they're just going to take so much damage from the splash. Well, that was a miss, but it was kind of <laughs> hit. <laughs> yeah, because attacks like that. So, come on. Get that cannon shot. Oh, here he comes. Oh, so close. Come on, cannon. You know, I can just shoot like once and then they're done. There we go, another shot. Oh, oh, so close. Well, they're trying. But that was a hit. And they are really bunched up. So, let's uh, ride you out the side. Well, one of you can just uh, actually go after the mortars. Yeah. Well, go up there. So, we're getting shots. We're getting our beautiful artillery doing their stuff. Let's start bombarding over there. And uh, let's start bombarding... Ooh, shoot a along the line over there. We can get some good shots just along them. Oh yeah, shots like that. That is beautiful. And it seems like we need to move you up just a, just a tad bit. Like so. That should put us just about in range. And uh, we can just go around this. It's just pikemen. They're very slow. Okay. Now we send you in. We send you in. This is fine. Let's just send you in over there. S sneak past. Oh, and we have some juicy charges in here. And get one over there. This is fine. By my will alone. And just get a golden house with Gehenna's right there. Get... Oh, they have great swords right there. We need to get on top of those. But yeah, those are broken. We're getting in on these. Let's get on on those. And we're on top of that. Very nice. Oh, you need to be a little bit careful. Let's uh, send you over there instead. But yeah, this is dead. Beautiful. Uh, start bombarding over there. Let's get another one of those. And let's get glittering robe on the great, great swords. Oh shit, we're on, we're in halberds. Um, get in there and help. Start shooting over there. You need to shoot in there as well. And yeah, we're just <laughs> ravaging their backline. They are. They are dead. Oh, we got another one. They just keep giving us. They're just. The. The cooldown is just so slow now. And that's good damage. And secondary line, I suppose. And yeah, secondary line. Get in there. Uh, I suppose get a little bit of a heal. And we get a... Oh, that's is risky, but... Put her there. Those are running. Let's get that as well. We can we can break spears. That's that's not a problem. Get on top of those. Yeah, let's keep getting over there. Chase those while shooting. Oh, um, you 
charge this empire captain. He he can't he can just do whatever he wants. Halberds, however, not that big a fan of fighting. We can we can break spears and stuff, but halberds, mm, rather not. Uh, let's stop focusing him. Get in there. Let's avoid you, please. But are they? No, this is not any kind of uh, arm losses. And I've already used my potions, but yeah, you're you're gonna get murdered. And no, wait. Okay, you're not in range, but you are gonna be in range right there. So kill that and pop the house as well. So if you can just flee, that's all right. Just charge in on these, I guess. Okay, good. They're dead. Uh, we're gonna chase a little bit. Okay, that was a good fight. Uh, we're gonna grab the replenishment there. That is not a lot of money, but that's a lot of replenishment, so... Gonna happily take that. But I, we're gonna need a stronger front line, because that buckled much faster than I, than I wanted it to. Although the free company did fine as a backline, so... Eh, maybe not. But we're gonna grab the replenishment. I cannot and never. these guys should be hurt enough for us to just auto-resolve this. Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. So, we're gonna loot this shit just to get some uh, replenishment. Very nice. And we got Sons of Sigmar. Just right on time when I said we needed a, uh, well, some more front line. So we're just gonna merge these, the grab the Sons of Sigmar, because they're very good. And I'm gonna end the episode there, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!